Jordan Bennett with Jordan Bennett and Associates at Keller Williams. A question that a lot of people are asking and have been asking is, are we in a housing bubble and is that bubble about to burst? I'm going to give you five reasons that I don't think so. Uh, number one, mortgage standards today are nothing like they were back prior to the housing crash of 2008. In other words, we're actually at a low point on what's called the Mortgage Credit Availability Index. It is more difficult today to get credit than it was back in 2005, 6, and 7. The second reason is that prices are not soaring out of control. In the six years prior to the Great Recession, which occurred in 2008, prices were running up at a pace of about 9% a year annually across the U.S. In the last six years leading up to 2020, home price appreciation has averaged about 5% a year, a much more conservative number. Number three, we don't have a surplus of homes right now. In fact, back in 2006, there was about an 8.2 month supply of homes. And keep in mind, that was prior to the actual crash. Today, we're at about a three month supply of inventory of homes across the US, a much lower number than the over eight month supply we had back in 2005, six, seven. Number four, house payments are not as expensive today as they were prior to the last crash. In fact, in 2006, people were spending nationally on average 25.4% of their income toward their housing expense. Today, that number is around 15%. Now that sounds counterintuitive and the reason is, is that even though prices have come up, interest rates are historically low and that's what's driving that lower housing payment. Now, of course, that's a national number. Here in Orange County, it's much higher. A lot of people are paying close to half of their income each month on housing, but as a national number, uh, we're much more conservative when it comes to our housing expense. And the fifth reason is that today, people are equity rich. In 2005 through 2007, you can believe this, people cashed out over 820 billion of their equity through cash out refinances. In the last three years leading up to 2020, so 2017 through 2019, only about 230 billion has been cashed out. So although we have higher prices um, and lower interest rates and more equity, people only cashed out about 25% of the amount that was cashed out in 2005 through 2007. So again, people aren't treating their houses like cash machines and stealing from the till like they were back in 05 through 07. Uh, people are being much more conservative and remembering the mistakes that were made prior to that 2008 recession. Thank you.